It is the Blitz here on San Antonio Sports Star. Want to welcome in former UIW quarterback Cameron Ward set all kinds of records playing over there for the Cardinals. An incredible run there, playing two seasons and really the course of a couple of months. Played so well. He's now on his way to the Pac-12. Cam, appreciate you taking the time. You decided yesterday, made your announcement, you're going to transfer if you hit the portal to Pullman, Washington for the Washington State Cougars. Tell us uh, about the decision-making process, my friend. Uh, it was fun. It was also, you know, overwhelming with a lot of coaches, uh, you know, contacting me, which I didn't get the opportunity to have their high school. But it was hard to, uh, you know, leave UIW way. They instilled in me, you know, bringing an 18-year-old kid. Uh, they were my only offer coming out of high school. You know, what we did uh, in the spring season, how we built on it into the fall season, having the best record in program history, uh, win the, their second conference championship championship in uh, four years. So what we did this past season, it was hard to leave it. You know, Cameron, I've got to ask you, and I know, man, it looked like you had a lot of fun this season. You you were just you were playing at the top of your game, and uh, all everything just seemed to click for you. And I, I'm assuming that a lot of that had to do with your head coach Eric Morris, which I'm assuming is a big reason why you're now headed to Washington State. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so there's a big reason. Uh, you know, he was the only coach to take a chance out of on me out of high school. So I'm forever grateful for what he did for me at UIW. And, you know, I feel like at this point in my career, it was time for me to take that next step, uh, you know, show everyone and prove to myself that I could play at the highest level, highest level college football, the power five level. Cameron Ward joining us here on the Blitz as he's made his announcement. He is heading to Washington State, leaving UIW, heading up to Wazoo. But, Cam, you, you enter the portal and your phone was ringing off the wall. You took a couple of trips. You went down to Ole Miss. I know you went and visited with Hugh Freeze. You were you had Houston on the list. You had so many offers. What what was the deciding factor for you, especially between Wazoo and Ole Miss and playing for Lane Kiffin? Uh, the deciding factor was really what was the best for me. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, my family's gonna have their input. I'm also gonna have mine. So just knowing that they're gonna be able to make uh, every game that I'm gonna play in, whether it was at Washington State. Uh, UIW or at Ole Miss, uh, that was really like kind of helped my decision knowing I'll have their support anywhere that I go to continue my football career. And, you know, just with Coach Morris, I know that offense very well. And, uh, you know, with Ole Miss, you know, it's an SEC school, you know, uh, every kid dreams to play in the SEC. But for me, it was more of a business business decision. I tell you what, I'm looking forward to watch, uh, watching Washington State football. Just let me t- go back to UIW for a minute, Cam, because, uh, again, watching you play football this year looked like you were just having a blast. Was this How much fun was this season for you? Oh, it was real fun. Uh, you know, I felt like I had the best uh, O-line in the South Conference. I felt like I had the best, we had the best receiver room in the country. So just being able to play with an explosive offense, uh, our defense was uh, was on their t- was on their stuff this year. Uh, we had one of the best defenses in Southland. They bailed me out a couple games. Um, so just having that support from them, you know, it was a great coaching staff around me from our old line coach, you know, to our quarterbacks coach, the receivers coach. So everyone, they, we all pitched in. That's why we had an incredible season. Now, Cam, you heard the conversation we were having before this segment started about receivers, targets, <laughs> drops, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Who's whose fault is it? Well, it's the quarterbacks, you know. <laughs> At the end of the day, we got a perfect ball. If they can't catch it, it's on us. You're a good man, Cam. You know that? You are a good man, so what my do you friend. Say, what do you say in the locker room? Yeah, well, yeah, what happens when you're not in public? We won't tell anybody. Yeah, yeah. The teams that come up to me, they'll be my bad. I was like, no, nah, it's my bad, man. I should have thrown a better, a better ball, catch the ball. You know, Cam, as you think uh, about heading up to Washington State, it, it's cold up there. It's not the easiest place in the world to get up to. I'm curious when you really thought Washington State was in play because when Eric Morris took the OC job there, you hit the portal. You had been to uh, Liberty, I believe. You had been to Ole Miss. And it, it was a while before you tweeted out that you even had an offer from Washington State. Was it a slam dunk for Eric Morris that he was going to be able to get you to go up there? or? Did you make them work for it? <laughs> uh, kind of, kind of both. Uh, you know, uh, it's hard to pass up. Like I said, SEC, SEC school and Ole Miss. Uh, so they're going to be top ten uh, every year that they play. So just um, you know, I feel 
having Coach Morris and that relationship that he has with me and my family, I made the best decision for me, and I felt like it'll help me get to where I want to go in life. And you know, Cam, it seems like it's pretty good timing on your part. Uh, the Cougars need a quarterback. I mean, this could be something that you could go in there and, and slide right in and be starting game one. Am I right? Yes, sir. I'm going up there to compete for the starting job and hope I win it. And when you say that, so many quarterbacks have hit the portal. And, you know, throughout this process, you've always been ranked one, two, three in the portal, depending on what you look at as far as quarterbacks that are available. But hearing other quarterbacks and in doing interviews, they wanted to go somewhere where the gar- where the job was basically guaranteed to them. You keep saying you get to go compete for the starting job, but was that kind of a deciding factor for you? I mean, you don't necessarily have to guarantee me the job, but I get to at least compete to be the starter. I'm not going to go sit and hold a clipboard for a year and wait. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I'm a big uh, person on competitive. You know, I like to compete. Uh, I had to compete to win the starting job at UIW. And just going somewhere where I have a fair shot at competing in Ole Miss at Washington State, I feel like that was a big part of where I, why I chose Washington State, just having a fair shot. You know, Cam, would, you know, you weren't highly recruited, obviously, out of high school. That's an understatement, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Did, did that put a chip on your shoulder? I mean, did you go into UIW and say, you know what, I'm going to show everybody what they missed out on? Oh, yes, sir, it did. It put a big chip on my shoulder. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you got to control the things that you can control. And, you know, God puts people in a situation that he thinks that they'll be able to get out of. Well, and i tell you what, for Eric Morris and the – Heard many times the story of recruiting you, and if you guys would have played that fall season, I don't know that you would have been the starting quarterback at least in week one or if at any point during a fall season, but you practice all fall because of COVID. You play the spring season, and you light it up. Yes, sir. And then you got to come back in the fall and play again, and you continue (laughs) to to light it up. An incredible story, and I think you know you made the right choice when this morning, after you made the decision yesterday, you might have driven Lane Kiffin to the NFL because this morning the stories are (laughs) he's rumored to to be in line for some NFL jobs. Man, could you imagine if you had made the decision last night to go to Ole Miss and wake up and hear those rumors today? Man, it would have been crazy, you know. I I, I think I made the right decision, you know, going to Washington State. I know I did. Uh, You know, just if I would have committed to Ole Miss, that would happen. I'd be like, dang, man. (laughs) So where do you head to Pullman, man? Oh, I'll go tomorrow morning. Probably 6.30. Do you have a good coat? Uh, yes, sir. I got a couple of coats. Um, <laughs> I can buy some more when I get up there, you know. When I went up there on my visit, it wasn't that cold. You know, the first thing you're going to notice is the snow, but it wasn't, like, real windy. So it was, like, it was doable weather to me. That will change. You know, my wife is from up there, and her whole family went to Washington State, man. Uh, you know, go like the REI. Invest in a good coat and gloves and earmuffs, man. You're going to need them. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Happy for you, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck, Cam. Cameron Ward, quarterback of the Washington State Cougars. Sounds good, doesn't it, man? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Did a lot of great things at UIW. Appreciate the time. Cam Ward joining here in just the process for him of having to go through, enter the portal, and get recruited really for the first time and land where he's landing. It's an incredible story.